We've got Mark Shepard, as we mentioned earlier, but we also have our surprise guest, Elaine Breen. Surprise. Um, and so we always like surprises around here. Um, and so uh, these two are from Ability Plus, which is the adaptive sports program that's held inside of Adatash, but you guys are your own organization. You guys have a great event happening today. Um, and so if mm -hmm. you could tell us a little bit about that, because that's today, so we need to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. So today it's really exciting for us to be able to have our uh, big fund raising event. This is uh, extremely important to us to be able to raise the money in order to be able to serve our mission. And that is to be able to have it that persons with disabilities are able to get uh, exposed to uh, sporting events, whether it's skiing, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing in the wintertime, and then in the summertime to be able to be hiking, kayaking, canoeing, cycling, and have these programs running year-round takes lots of money, so we're begging and groveling, you know, for, for the opportunity for people to come, experience it, and then see something that is absolutely extraordinary, and then to be able to uh, give in a way that will help uh, people for uh, something that they kind of really get exposure to otherwise. Yeah, I mean, I think that's awesome. Growing up here, I didn't, but I hear that, like, the skiing is a big part of the community. I can only imagine if you had a disability and not being able to be part of that community mm -hmm. on top of dealing with your disability would be like a double whammy. So I think this is fantastic, not only for that reason, but just to get, you know, them out there. And then you guys have year-round events, right? I mean, you're yes. not just doing skiing. You're doing all winter events, all summer activities. So tell us a little bit more about that as well. Sure. So the, um, Lane was mentioning earlier, the Seek the Peak, you know, for us to be able to participate in that, that's a really amazing thing yeah. to be able to have it that because we're organizing it and then we know exactly how to uh, help the people that are actually being uh, participating in that program, they get to participate. That's and they awesome. wouldn't maybe be able to go and say, oh, I'm just going to go up there and go do it on my own. Yeah. And uh, for us to be there as a, their support. team and support, you know, is uh, wonderful. That's right? awesome. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so you guys cover in the winter, you do the skiing, the snowboarding, the snowshoeing. And then in the summer, you move over to what, hiking, cycling, kayaking, and canoeing. Yes. So they get to get not only on the ground, but out in the water as well, which is fun. Yes, yes. And, and to be able to go out and go kayaking with, um, you know, uh, the adaptive equipment that's necessary for that. You know, a person with no arms or, or no legs or something like that can actually, um, you know, be out there and participating you know, in that with their family, let's and, say. And this isn't always just people that are born with disabilities. You were talking about how you work with wounded warriors and veterans groups as well. Yes. Um, and so to try to adapt from being born without a disability then to have one, uh, this is an amazing program to help people bridge that gap probably too. Most definitely. And, you know, there have been a number of times when I've gone down to, uh, well, it was Walter Reed Hospital and then Bethesda to be able to go and meet with wounded warriors after they've come back. And then to be able to have a conversation with them, say, we'd love to have you come to our program. I'm going to teach you how to snowboard or how to ski. And then they were like, you know, I just lost, you know, a part of me. I'm not actually going to do that. I've never skied before. Yeah. I, I, why don't you just get out of, you know, out of my face kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden they come. Yep. And then it empowers them to think that they can do anything. Exactly. Because they thought that they couldn't really get out of their bed or chair and then now they're actually on the top of a mountain and they're skiing down the mountain. Yeah. And not only do they have that, their partners, whether spouse, partner, children, see them in a way that, wow, mommy or daddy can actually do that. They That's can do anything. Awesome. Yeah. And so then, it not only affects them, but their their family, their the people, their support system, that's their right. caregivers even. Um, but also, you know, I could imagine somebody might be into a sport and then they get injured and then maybe they're afraid to return back to that sport, especially if, if, if maybe they got injured in that sport. I, I know there's a group in Vermont I had heard about, a, a skier, I believe, she got injured, uh, I think it's somewhere in Burlington, and then she created this big organization. I think it's like national now, um, where they, they, they fund for money for all these types of things like what you, like what you guys are doing. Yes. So I think it's a great way to really build community as well. Um, Most definitely. To kind of rally together and support. Uh, and this community is great for that. This, this community is great, yes. is great yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. It is. It's the way the Valley steps up for 
just about anybody that needs anything it was, uh, is absolutely there's wonderful. Because there's another event going on this weekend <coughs> for Josh Priest, right, um, that got hurt in a mountain yes. biking accident. Yes. yes. So the, mm -hmm. the valley just really comes together and supports. Always. It's very community-minded. Yes. Friends, Most friends, things like that. I yeah. mean, yes. I, I love being in this area because of that. Um, it's I, extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And the collaboration that takes place between all the different organizations is something that's it's delicious. Oh, you know. good. Yeah. I love that word. <laughs> 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 My word's usually juicy, so I like delicious. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> um, and yeah. then uh, you guys, your website is abilityplus.org. Your number is listed on that website. Yes. You guys are located inside of Adatash, uh, the ski resort, but you guys are your own entity. Yes. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think, and you guys are doing Seek the Peak for the third year this year, right? That's correct, yeah. So two other two years. years. Yeah, we've done, mm -hmm. we've done two years of Seek the Peak, and um, thanks to the Mount Washington Observatory and a couple of um, sponsors that they were able to get, we were able to field two teams each year, awesome. right. um, <clears throat> which has been fabulous and just the most wonderful experience. Um, and I was on helping and support with both of those. Um, so we'll plan to do that again this year. Yeah, we talk yes. the observatory every morning. So right. we yeah, love exactly. We love the observatory. <laughs> we love the observatory. But, um, oh, it's extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's, um, as far as I know, slated again for this year. So I'm excited Good. to do that. Good. And mm -hmm. um, But it is just wonderful to see what people and i'm a parent of a participant okay. that's how i started to Aww. get involved and my participant graduated and went off into the typical um seasonal ski program at Atatash wow. after a couple of years of good solid instruction at ability plus so that's fantastic. Um, so i've seen firsthand what this can do for people that's mm -hmm. awesome um, yeah and so he that's was a great story one of yes it's a big goal of ours yeah. uh, for that to be the case so we started in 1997 uh, wow. the organization so we've been serving the community for quite some time. Wow. And seeing people that they, our goal is to have them graduate, right? right? Yeah. You know, to be if able to get to If we do our job, reason. we should we actually. We don't see them. Don't, we, yeah, exactly. They move on Aww. and they and then there's room for go off and then there's room in. for new people. Yes, right, exactly. Exactly. And, the, um, and it's been getting busier. <laughs> it's been getting busier. <laughs> it is. So you yeah. need more Very funds. Busy. Well, we so need we more funds and we are also completely volunteer. Aside from a couple of paid employees, we are completely volunteer staffed. Our instructors are volunteers. Our support people are volunteers. Um, you don't need to have any real specific training for this. We provide that. Um, but we are always also looking for good, enthusiastic volunteers. We're volunteers. Yes. Um, so You know who you guys should reach out to is the Rotary Club. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Rotary yeah. Club. Yes. They yeah. love to do Oh, we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. We go everywhere. But, um, you know. but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, our, it's life changing for our volunteers, too. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. no. It's, so. it, I mean, any volunteer work, and, and I've, uh, you know, I've done some research and watched uh, documentaries, and, uh, you know, one of the things that actually makes you happiest as a human being is giving to others and without, like, selfless service, like, right. a, um, you know, almost like a karma yoga type mm -hmm. of thing. So uh, being able to give without expecting in return, but what you get mm -hmm. in return is actually the feeling of right. what you do when you're providing. Um, yeah, so yes. it's amazing. Yes. Well, our family, the, uh, our mantra for life is live to give. Oh, so. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I might steal that. <laughs> Good. And we it's get yours. To, we, and we get to yeah, do, no, we get to do that. the good word. We yes. get to do that every weekend up here. Oh, yes, good. exactly. Good. Right, right. All yeah. right. So, um, so today, what time does the event start today? Are we already starting? Uh, it's now? already starting. Okay. I think Look registration is starting at eight. Um, it's running till three. Okay. Um, it's uh, you can either go in and get a lift ticket through us and ski, and then we have an after ski party. Okay. Um, We'll, we're right in the main lodge as you walk in at Atatash. Okay. So, and there's a silent auction and there's raffles and Ooh. it's all sorts of good stuff. And so if people want to start following you, are you on social media? Do you have a social we media We are. Presence? We have a, um, a Facebook page, okay. Ability Plus. So those the events Adaptive Sports. that you have will probably be Those will all on be there. on there. Okay. Those yes. are all posted mm -hmm. on there live. Um, the website's generally updated live. Okay. Um, and uh, on the website, if anybody did want to donate or volunteer, there are buttons for those to, con to awesome. send contact mm -hmm. information awesome. in. Awesome. Well, so. thank you so much for coming on and telling us thank about you your awesome events thank today. You I'm much. really, really glad to help you guys spread the message to all of our viewers. And if you are watching, uh, they've already started, so make sure you get down there quick. It's at Adatash. And the event today, what is the name of the event? Uh, Spring Fest. Spring Fest. Spring Fest. Mm -hmm. Spring okay, Fest. so Spring Fest happening at Adatash, and it's uh, about 8 to 3, uh, so it's already begun. 
Um, and then they've got the Prey Ski afterwards. And you guys have more events coming, so make sure you follow them on social media. And on social media, you guys would probably be under Ability Plus as well. Correct. Ability Plus Adaptive Sports. Ability, Ability Plus, Plus Adaptive, Plus Adaptive Sports, Sports. Sports. Mm -hmm. on social media. Ability Plus dot org is their website. Their phone number and all the information is listed on their website. Thanks so much again for coming. Thank you Thank so much you. for having us. That all was right. very kind of you uh, oh, no. to bring us on today. No, I'm, I'm glad. And you guys can come back anytime. You're more than welcome. Open invitation. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>